everybody, this is the Victor. And so, in 2016, Walt Disney Pictures released The Jungle Book. It was praised by critics, it was loved by fans, and it was a huge hit at the box office. People even said that it by far was better than its animated original. I looked upon this movie with a, some sort of skepticism. I thought this is not going to be very well, I thought. I saw the movie and I was very impressed by the cost and I was very impressed by the technique. But I was not impressed by virtually anything else in this movie. Compare this to the other Disney live uh, remakes of their animated movies. It is one of the better, I would say, far better than uh, Lion King, far better than Cinderella and far better than Beauty and the Beast. It has a couple of moments that really works, but it also has a lot of things that really does not work. Let's find out what those are, shall we? This is the 2016 Jungle Book. Jungle Book is sort of the same as the animated original. Uh, Mowgli is a, a child that is adopted by wolves and is threatened by Shere Khan uh, who wants to kill him. But unlike uh, the animated original, they've actually given Shere Khan some cadence. They've actually given him some motivations for, you know, killing this, this child. The reason for it is actually quite good and one of the strong points of this movie. Uh, Shere Khan, by the way, played by Idris Elba, uh, is actually quite frightening presence about him. And Bagheera, played by Ben Kingsley, uh, says that he's going to take Mowgli to the uh, human world. Uh, but uh, Mowgli doesn't want to go and, you know, ends up together with Baloo, played by Bill Murray. And, you know, they're doing those two things. They're trying to incorporate a couple of things from the book to try to make this movie a little bit more gritty, a little bit more hard, and a little bit more darker than uh, the animated original, which was a good idea. Uh, but they also have to hit all of these cliff notes so that people remember the original, which unfortunately just puts more perspective on how much better the original is than this one. The problem that this movie has, and The Lion King especially has, is the fact that you're having all of these talking animals that cannot emote because they are, you know, computer animated. They're very impressive computer animated animals, but they, since they cannot emote and show any kind of emotions, they became very bland and very uninteresting. The only uh, performance that I actually think really worked was actually King Louis, voiced by Christopher Walken, of all people, who actually does, you know, the entire song, which is very weird, and I love Christopher Walken, and him singing is such a weird, uncomfortable thing to see and listen that it actually kind of worked. Also, the presentation of him was great because he has this, you know, he, he feels like he's like King Kong in size and that was very nice. I liked that a lot. As I said, very impressive. This entire movie is actually shot in studio. They never went outside and everything is fake except for the kid. That is very impressive. But um, once they have impressed you with that, you're starting to thinking, I much rather watch the original than this version. Side note, I think that the animated Disney original is a charming, well-made, uh, uncomplicatedly good, but not great animated movie. But you can't argue with the fact that the original had a very, very, very good ending that this movie did not. It was a very underwhelming and kind of shoulder-shrugging ending, which I thought was, man, why did you have to do that? When it comes to the voice acting, the voice acting list is very impressive. I think that Idris Elba was very good. I thought that Bill Murray was very good. I think that um, Ben Kingsley was very good as Bagheera. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, who plays Ka, was kind of wasted. It felt like a glorified cameo, but you really felt how big that snake actually was. The movie isn't bad, it's just very forgettable, lacking all the charm that uh, the original movie had, and uh, in the end was just a movie that, you know, will entertain you. The movie has entertaining bits to it, and it looks good, but ultimately it's very forgettable. Comparing this movie to the original might be a bit unfair, but I'm gonna do it anyway. The original is better. I prefer that movie, even though it is not fantastic. 
Uh, I actually think that the Andy Serkis movie, Mowgli, that came out around the same time is a, actually the best version of this story. It's probably the closest adaptation to uh, Kipling's original source material. I give The Jungle Book 35 points. They have a very impressive selection of good voice actors, but they don't use them to their fullest potential. And the atmosphere and the tone of the movie is all over the place. It feels like they don't know where they want to end up in. The more campy, uh, charming original or the more grim and dark uh, Kipling version of the whole thing. They try to do both at the same time and it doesn't quite work out. So I'll see you next time for Will So and So reviewing, well, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.